All right, welcome to Culture and Conservation webinar series. Uh, this is a re-recording of the third in the series on Ohi Alehua. Eku wika la na mai nu eku ita ohi alele eku wika ohi alehua eku wika ohi ahauli eku wika ohi amoewe eku mai kala ni ku wikea eku ita honua eku ita ohi ai eku wika la ni ka ohi akaku. This pule to ku, god of governance, is a direct and powerful testimony to the long-held and persistent biocultural significance of ohi alehua, the dominant tree of our native forest ecosystems. The ohi alehua tree is the dominant species in Hawaiian forests, an adaptable and extremely variable species in flower color, leaf shape, stature, etc. And its rich nectar uh, flower, bearing flowers provide the mainstay for Hawaiian honey creepers, such as this apopane. And as a dominant tree of Hawaii, it should be no surprise that Ohi Alehua and other Metrosidera species carry immense Hawaiian cultural significance. Let's spend a few minutes going over the major cultural aspects of this amazing tree. The tree itself is considered one of the kino lau, or physical manifestations of ku, one of the four principal Hawaiian deities. But other gods and goddesses of Hawaii also lay claim to Ohi'a. For example, the first line to a well-known chant to Laka, deity of the hula, says, No hoana laka ita ulu vehi vehi ita ohi'a ku iluna o mauna loa. Laka resides in the thick forest growth, the ohi'a tree standing tall on mauna loa. As one of the primary kino lau of Laka, the foliage and the blossoms of Lehua are appropriate offering on the Kuahu Halau, the shrine for the traditional schools of Hula. The wood of Ohia Lehua is incorporated into, the, into some of the most sacred structures of the Heiau, the temples of governance, called Luakini. For example, the Ki'iakua, the god figures of Ku, were sometimes carved from Ohia. They possess such high mana that it required a human sacrifice to remove an ohi'a from the forest, if it was destined to become the likeness of ku. It was the preferred wood for the lele, the offering platform, and the anu'u, the oracle tower. Indeed, the opening chant of this presentation started a ku wika la na mai nu'u, a ku wika ohi'a lele, o ku of the offering levels, o ku of the ohi'a offering platform. In addition, the pa, the enclosures that surround the most sacred sites, were fashioned out of ohi'a bowls, such as these surrounding the hale o keawe at pu'uhonua o honaunai. The red flowers of the ohi'a tree are called lehua, and beyond the meaning of lehua as the blossom of the ohi'a tree, the word lehua carries many significant meanings. The crimson red of lehua is symbolic of the blood of warfare, and the first warrior to fall in battle is called Lehua. The red, orange, and yellow of Lehua all serve as fiery symbols of Pele, goddess of volcanic fire. It's no accident that Ohia Lehua is the first tree on lava flows and predominant in young lava substrates. Ohia Lehua is the signature flower of the island of Hawaii, largely for this reason. To be referred to as Lehua is to be acknowledged as a paramount expert in your field of skill. It is also a term that refers to abundance. Kehelela kapapa aina akiali ia lehua. The feast table of the chief was richly laden. The role that Lehua blossoms play as the mainstay for Hawaiian honeycreepers and other nectariferous birds was not ignored. It is telling that some of the names of color morphs of lehua are bird-related. The lehua apane echoes the apopane and refers to the bright red blossom. The lehua mamo matches the mamo bird and is bright yellow. The connection of lehua to birds lends the high mana of feather work to lehua, and the chiefly prestige in turn helps explain why ohia and lehua is used as a metaphor of courtship popularity, and high regard. That the Ohi'a is such a stalwart of the Wawakua, the realm of the gods, and such a strong and upright form, 
is not only reflected materially in the erection of the major structures of Hawaiian life, from heiau to households, but this symbol of strength and unfailing presence extends to politics and governance. The pohana is the main support post of a traditional Hawaiian structure. There are two of them at each end and they support the ridge post. One line out of a chant for proper leadership says, Eola ya'u kapohanau keau puni amenali'ia po. Give life and health to me, the support post of the government, government, and to all the chiefs. For its superior strength, the wood of Ohia is preferred for weapons such as the au and pahoa. The same properties apply to tools such as o'o digging sticks and ko'i adzes. In hula, rhythmic drumming provides the acoustic structure within which the dancers perform, setting the cadence and mood. Here, ohi'a extends into the realm of sound with the sharp, ringing percussion of the kala'o dancing sticks. The striking, brilliant colors of lehua blossoms make the le lehua among the most exalted of lei. In la'au lapa'o, the tender likolo, the leaf buds, and the a'aleva, or aerial roots, were used in a variety of ways, as a tonic, an intervention for failed appetite, and as treatment for various infections. As a prevalent and easily recognized presence in ecosystems from sea level to tree line, numerous olelo no ea, wise and poetical sayings, refer to ohi'a as a positive symbol of strength, sanctity, and beauty. Olelo no ea are often derived from oli, chant, and mo'olelo, story, and the frequency of mention in such mo'olelo is an indication of significance. It is notable that in the epic of Hi'iaka i Kapolio Pele, Ohi'a Lehua is the single most often mentioned plant in that long epic, far outstripping any other plant except perhaps Hala. In the Hawaiian Dictionary, the widely known and oft-quoted warning that picking lehua blossoms will bring rain is mentioned. The tree is dominant in wet forest, so it's not surprising that the tree and the flower is strongly associated with rain. Numerous rains incorporate lehua into their names, such as the Uakani lehua, the Moaniani lehua, and the Lili lehua. Kani lehua, Kinai lehua, Kinimaka lehua, Kiuwe lehua, Lili lehua, Moaniani lehua, Moi lehua, and Lu lehua um, are other rain names. Wetter districts such as Hilo and Puna on the island of Hawaii strongly identify with the tree and lehua blossom, and the wet ohi'a forests of Ohala have been called La'au Ohiwei, the forest that gathers water, linking in the minds of Hawaiians that the name Ohi'a alludes to the gathering, Ohi, of the water of life, high in the realm of the gods. All of these primary cultural underpinnings make Ohi Alehua perhaps the single most culturally significant tree in Hawaii. This cannot be ignored when considering the value of Ohi A as an element of essential conservation value wherever it grows. So mahalo for your kind attention. <laughs>